Crown Indigenous Relations Minister Mark Miller says the legislation has been a long time coming. These are these are people whose rights have been denied uh, for centuries, and so uh, the very basic trappings of uh, uh, of an ability to organize yourself is the ability to have control over your self-government, and then this is consistent with Article Four of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. But a number of First Nations in Ontario are questioning the Métis Nation of Ontario's inclusion in Bill C-53. They say the MNO is not a legitimate Section 35 holder of Indigenous rights. And earlier this week, the Chiefs of Ontario held a press conference in Ottawa to let their views be known. We have serious concerns about this legislation and its impact to our collective rights. Mr. Mark Miller and the Liberals are trying to silence the legitimate concerns of First Nations about this proposed legislation by taking the unprecedented and undemocratic step of trying to force it to the House and the Senate without debate. MNO President Margaret Fro says she is saddened by what she is calling continued Métis denialism. She says the legislation should be viewed as a positive for all Indigenous peoples. This is not a zero-sum game. You know, the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples talks about respecting the rights of all Indigenous peoples. Section 35 recognizes and affirms the Aboriginal and Treaty rights of Aboriginal peoples of Canada, and that includes Métis, First Nations, and Inuit. There is no hierarchy. Miller agrees and says there will be plenty of time to debate and analyze the bill as it now enters the committee stage after completing second reading on Wednesday. You know, First Nations have been an ally to Métis and vice versa. They have both been subject to the oppression of Canada. And this should not be another process in, in Canada creating uh, the rife conditions for lateral violence. So, um, you know, if there's anyone to blame here, uh, it should be Canada. And, you know, First Nations should not be in a position to have to blame Métis, and Métis should not have to be in a position to blame First Nations. Debate on Bill C-53 will continue when the House of Commons resumes in the fall. Fraser Needham, AP10 National News, Ottawa.